Alright, cool guys, so I'm back at it again. Um, <clears throat> and um, fishing for more stocked rainbows just because steelhead fishing is, I don't have time to really do that right now. Um, once winter break comes, I'll definitely be doing that. But um, today I'm gonna see if I can get on some stocked rainbows like I did a couple weeks ago. And um, there's a chance that I keep a couple and do a little catch cook, which would be nice. And um, something I haven't done in a while. So I will get back to you guys out on the water and I'm hoping it's a good day. It's cold out. It's one of the coldest days of the year so far. It's like 22 degrees right now. But um, I think the fish will be just fine because the temperature of the water is dropping. It's about 44 degrees and it's looking good. So I will get back to you guys in a bit. Last time I fished this hole, there was nothing in it, but we had a big rain and the fish were just upstream. So I'm thinking there's a chance they'll actually be fishing this now. It's just so confusing, bro. Oh, that might have been a fish. Put it right back there. Quick little. Probably was. Oh, this is a rock. It gets shallower down there. <clears throat> There's a fish. Oh, that's a that's a good fish. I was gonna say there's got to be one right here. Oh, that's a good bow. That might be that might be dinner. More like lunch, but. I'm not sticking my hands in the water today. I got a net. Got the net. And it'll come right in now. It's a good, it's a good rainbow. He took the, uh, Got him. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. That's a nice rainbow. I'm gonna get him in the water right here. And I'm gonna get the big cam out. Oh, there we go. That's a good, that's a nice rainbow, bro. That is a nice rainbow. Just quit squirming. Took the woolly bucker. I'll keep some that are smaller than this because this is a nice fish and that would be fun for people to catch. Just get him in. Good release. There we go. Sick. Got a fish. Now my hands are going to freeze up. 
Ой. Я. That first day was hard to Grab it. Here's one. That's pretty small. No? Not bad. This is the copper. That looks more like an eater. Nope. A nicer size fish. This one's pretty though. Holy crap. The colors on this dude. I don't want to keep this one either. But I gotta eat something. I need the food. Flies out. Let's squirm it. Little dude. He's got such nice colors though. Pretty, pretty fish. Look at his back. Look at that face. Holy crap. Oh. I'm gonna measure him, see if he's the right length. And if he's 12 inches, he's a keeper. Nope, not big enough actually. Good to go. Not big enough. He's all about 11 and 3 quarters. And they gotta be 12, so. He's obviously staying out in the water. <laughs> there we go. Got that out. And get back at it. Oh, that was a fish. Check this guy out. Okay, okay, right out. Look at this fish. That's a nicer, nicer fish right there. It's a nice one. He's definitely bigger than um, 12, so I'm going to keep him. Nice dinner. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go to my car, I'm gonna gut this thing first. And then um, from there, I'm gonna head upstream with my car. I gotta warm my hands up and I gotta get these guides thawed out because they're frozen. Um, and get on the fish. I know there's another good spot up there that I know personally that I like. Um, I don't know if it'll have fish in it, of course, but 
at least talk this entire lake or river. So should be pretty good action. But um, I will get back to you guys. Pry on the chesty until I catch a fish. I'll see you guys at the next spot. <laughs> Okay guys, so at this point in time in the video, um, I didn't really do much explaining because I kind of just forgot. But basically I went to two different spots, I didn't catch anything, so I was like, I just, I gotta catch fish and I knew there was a spot that I could, but I didn't really want to fish it just because I wanted to find more areas to see if there were more fish in it. And uh, so, basically I just went back to like, what I call OG spots, just a spot where I know I'm always going to catch fish. So, um, yeah. Alright, we're back to the original spot where I... Slayed the first trout. I'm just going to go upstream past the place I was fishing before. See if I can get on some some good old fish. No time to waste, brother. I'm just going to stick this on the back of it again. Ugh. There we go. I'd like to have two trout to eat, so. All right, guys, cool. So I'm at the uh, OG spot here on the river. When I was out a couple weeks ago. And I'm just sick of not catching any fish. So I'm like, I, got, I gotta just come back here and catch a couple fish. I ate one more fish I can keep to eat, and then I'm gonna hit the road and head home and cook up everything for you. But I just wanted to get two fish, because that's about what I need. This is a nice fish. This is what I'm looking for. Alright guys, check it out. Another beautiful, definitely a keeper, so he's he's gonna be the meal. Trout. He's good fish, good good fish. Good squirm. There we go. Up the knee. Right there. That's my next keeper. Cool. We got ourselves a catching hook good now. Put on the net. I'm gonna unhook them. I'm gonna take them over and stick them on the stringer. Cool guys, so got two keeper fish, nice size fish. Um I'm calling it here. I'm gonna drive back to my house about an hour away. But when I get there, I will be filming again and I will be showing you guys how I'm gonna cook these fish today. And I'm not really quite sure how I'm gonna do it, so I'll probably look up a recipe. But I'm also deciding if I'm gonna cook it over a fire, if we have a grate that can go over it, which I don't think we do, or I'll just do it over the stove top. But um Great fishing today, loved it. Um, seems like this, this stretch of the river right here that I'm fishing right now is really the only productive area at the moment because I just didn't hook anything. I went all the way up it, went down it, just couldn't find anything. But um, great fishing um, and I will catch you guys back at the house. trout in here that I, I uh, cut up. They're both looking nice. Um, I don't know which one is. Let's use this one. And so what I'm going to do today is we're cooking them over fire. 
And to do that, I'm just gonna wrap them in uh, aluminum foil. But first, you wanna score the fish. Okay, and then after that, I'm gonna put a little, little lemon juice on it, give it some flavor. Flip it over, do it on both sides. And then throw a little rosemary in there for some flavor as well. I'm just gonna break it into little pieces and kind of just spread it around. And also I'm gonna tuck some inside of it to give some flavor on the inside too. And then throw a little butter in there too to give it some flavor. Stick one on the outside, one on the inside, and then I'll tuck one on the other side of it too. So there we have it. And I'm just gonna wrap it up and once we get some good coals going on the fire, I'm gonna toss them in there. Oh. All right, guys, and now I got my friend Max here. He's gonna help me. Well, he's, what's, he's the one who's helping me film. Now he's gonna show me and you guys how he uh, uh, like cooks his trout. Today, I'm gonna finish slice the finish slice this fish open because he don't want no smoke, right? So there's where his balls would be castrated. This is where his heart is. And that one's just for, for some fun, you know? So we gonna put some leaves and shit in this fish now? Okay. So, this is just where taste buds go, mmm. And yeah. So, now I'm gonna put this lemon on the fish cause he's sour. Cause I killed him with my bare hands. Okay, we're gonna do that on both sides. So now I'm gonna wrap the fish up in this little fishy casket of flavor. Yep. All right, so we got a hot bed of coals down here now. I'm just gonna slide them. Um, Right under here, move this. Now here's Max's, let's throw both of them under here. Let's make it easier. in there for about 10 15 minutes and they should be done all right so <laughs> it's been about 10 minutes I think the trout's done because it's relatively warm and what we're just gonna do is throw everything off of it and grab them it's gonna be hot I'm not grabbing that so. oh Oh, look at that. That's done. Check that one out. Yeah. That might be. All right, guys. So, <laughs> just finished cooking this trail. Um, first bite. That's very good. Max, what do you think? It's delicious. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, it's a good day fishing, caught some fish, came home, cooked some, uh, tastes so good, I'm going to enjoy eating this, but I'm going to leave you on that note, I hope you guys liked the video, enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time.